guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to Hub Neat Home. I am sorry that I'm leaning over to be in frame, but I did not want to adjust my tripod because uh, it's on my Diva ring light, which is my only source of light right now, but I did order some studio lights, so hopefully I'll be able to record in some places that are a little darker um, where I want to make videos, such as the closet. Uh, but I have not unpacked the lights yet, so we're just working with this light, and uh, I'm going to be uh, leaning over in this intro and probably the outro as well. Um, I just wanted to make a sort of more casual video today about how I organized my uh, sink and under sink cabinet area. I know that that is a really uh, challenging area for a lot of people. They are working around pipes, uh, leaks and things like that. There's a lot of cleaning products that we typically store under there. So I'm going to give you a little tour underneath my sink and uh, on my sink to hopefully inspire you to uh, neaten it up down there and maybe give you some ideas about how to organize it. So I hope you guys enjoy this tour and uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, you guys, here is my uh, over sink area. As you can see, look at you can see the reflection of the ring light in the background. That is so awful. Uh, anyway, ignore that. It looks like a big like half little ring, ring moon. Anyway, uh, this is my sink area and uh, this is a uh, condo that we've been living in for a year. It has a really, really big giant sink, which I am obsessed with. I love how big and deep it is. It's awesome and it can fit so many dishes and things like that. We even wash our little doggy in here. So it's really great. Uh, I keep it clean with uh, a product called Bonami. I will um, give you a little bit more information about that when we go underneath the sink in the sink cabinet. Uh, anyway, I'll just give you a little tour about what I've got going on over the sink. Now we've got uh, sort of three things out. I know that there are people that don't like having products out, uh, but I'm I'm going and washing the dishes so often that I don't want to go below a cabinet to grab things uh, or anywhere else to go and grab things and do stuff because we're always washing our hands here and we're always doing the dishes here and we're always cleaning the counters. So those just need to stay out. They are a little bit cluttery to my eye, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice to for convenience. So it's whatever you want you know so this is a little um caddy for the dish soap and uh, a sponge and two of our little cleaners uh, uh pot scrubbers and pan scrubbers this is actually a bottle brush although i do use this for cleaning um plates and things like that as well it's got a little bit softer bristles it looks like it has to be replaced soon it's looking very sad um and this is a pot scrubber we love that guy this is actually a little microfiber uh, sponge. It's got a sponge underneath, but it's a, on the top is microfiber cloth. Really cool. Um, we don't need to use a, a ton of cleaning product when we use microfiber because it sort of eats up bacteria. Very cool thing about it. This is actually um, from this organizer is from OXO. They make really cool things, and it's it's great because we don't get a lot of water on our um, actual counter area behind the sink, so it's easy to clean up. Every now and again, this does get a little bit gunked up with um, stuff, so it has to be cleaned periodically and like sort of scrubbed down. Um, but I've had this for, oh gosh, I might have had it for almost 10 years, and it all looks brand new. It's pretty great. OXO makes really great quality products. I will link down below, of course, like I always do. Uh, this little uh, dishwashing container uh, is from Caldrea. I got this at Target. Truth be told, I don't love this. It The soap comes out very slowly and uh, it's glass so I can't squeeze it. So I may replace it with something a little easier to use, but I, I keep it because, <laughs> because it's pretty um, and it looks really nice and because it matches the hand soap dispenser, um, which is also from Caldrea. There's no more um, official Caldrea brand soap in here. It is Mrs. Myers, which is actually the budget brand of Caldrea. Um, it, I'm, I'm actually really sad about this because it contained a, uh, a soap that was, oh, the scent is Herbes de Provence, and it was very nice, and I haven't been able to find it since. I think they discontinued that fragrance, which makes me very sad. Anyway, we have another little scrubby sponge. This is for like pots and pans and things that are really, really, uh, really, really stained and got stuff baked on and cooked on. Um, and it's held by this little kitty <laughs> who like holds it like a little ball or something like that. It's super cute. There we go. Now we can see. We can turn his little head. There we go. That's actually ultimate cuteness right there. We got this little guy during our honeymoon in Paris, so I don't know 
if you can buy this in the States. Um, he did come from Paris, but I will look on the internet, on the interwebs, and try and find one just like it. It's so cute. It makes me happy every time I see it. So it does get a little water like around on the counter, but I mean, it's just so cute. I'm willing to clean it up every time. <laughs> okay, so now let's go. Um, oh, there's also the drying mat. I did mention this in a another video, but this is a uh, alternative to a drying rack. It's a drying mat. We can use this uh, and it, it works pretty well for us because we have a dishwasher. Um, if we didn't have a dishwasher, I think that I would have a proper drying rack with a, a container for um, cutlery and all that stuff. Uh, otherwise, it, look, it works really well for us for things that need to be hand washed. And when this is dirty and grimy, we can just throw it in the washing machine and get it nice and clean. We do have a spare one for when this is in the washing machine because that's the way you got to do things. Always have a spare. Always be ready. Right. <laughs> and our snack corner. You guys, aside, I just got these from Whole Foods. They are delicious. This is like a side for sinful things. I have had these with my morning coffee and they're just so good. So good. Okay, anyway, let's go under the sink and uh, you can see how I have organized the bottom cabinet. I'm actually gonna set you guys down so that you can, so I can, I don't have to hold the camera. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna go for the, uh, for the holding the camera game here. Now these, these are actually over the cabinet uh, hooks and uh, rods. So a lot of people really don't like to see these and that's totally fine. If you really don't like them, you can paint them white or just buy white ones. We actually had the same issue with our um, coat closet. So our coat closet has the um, alpha door and wall rack in here to hold stuff. And I'll do another tour later of this closet. But um, it does have, it is silver, because I like silver, but I didn't want the outside to show, so I actually bought the, um, the hooks that go on the outside, I bought them in the white color, and now you can't even tell that we have stuff hanging from the cabinet. It looks really nice and seamless. So if that's something that really concerns you, that's something you can do. So let's open up the under sink cabinet here, and you can see what I've done. So as you, Probably you can guess I'm a big advocate of drawers and things that pull out because I don't want to reach in the back of cabinets to grab stuff because who wants to do that? That is horrible. Uh, so we'll start on the doors. On the doors, I've got um, our dish towel of the moment. I do have a lot of dish towels because I, I just go through these often. I try to um, just wash them every other day or so just because so that we're not putting bacteria and craziness on all of our, on our hands and all of our dishes. This is a cute little, oh my gosh, this is like Paris video day. This is actually a dish towel we got in Paris. It's the Paris subway. Is that not adorable? I love, I love this. Whenever I use it, it reminds me of my honeymoon and I just get so happy. We spent two weeks in Paris. It was amazing. If you haven't been to Paris, I recommend you go there. Even if you don't speak French, my French is very bad, but everybody there speaks English, so you don't have to worry about it. The Metro is amazing. Paris is awesome. Anyway, enough of my Paris gushing. This is a uh, over the cabinet uh, sort of towel holder. It, it's a double holder, but um, I don't really feel like I need to put two on there. I do have a single on the other side. I had two of these uh, from my last apartment and I was trying to figure out what to do with the other. And lately I have been using microfiber cloths to clean instead of paper towels uh, because I've been trying to throw away less garbage and be a little more mindful of the environment. So uh, microfiber cloths have been the way to go. This is from Casabella. I actually have a lot of Casabella products. I really like Casabella hashtag not sponsored. I just really like this brand for cleaning things. Um, but I use the cloth to clean and then I place it here so it can dry. <laughs> so that is what I use this for. So before I put it into the wash, I'll have it here to dry. And if it's not super dry, I'll just throw it in directly into the wash. Um, there is a special care that you have to do with microfiber in order to keep its efficacy. I will talk about that in another video. But anyway, I like this microfiber cloth, I like this microfiber cloth because it's got a one soft side and one little scrubby side, so it's really cool. I've got some command hooks here, which I know that's another one that's hashtag not sponsored. I just really like command hooks because they're great for everything. They're especially great for if you live in a rental and you can't uh, drill into any cabinets or walls, 
command hooks hold up really well. You do have to install them properly or they will fall off the wall and make you very angry. So pay attention to the directions on the package. Anyway, it's got a little uh, sweeper and a dust pan just in case it can have tiny little messes. And I do have a little uh, duster from Casabella again. Hashtag not sponsored. Anyway, I like this one because it's my, also microfiber and I can throw this right into the wash when it's disgusting and full of dust, which it is often because we live in the city and it is very dusty here. Uh, going into the cabinet here, we have got my dishwashing gloves. I never was into dishwashing gloves until I got into my 30s and just got tired of getting my hands wet every time I would go into the sink and wash dishes. That's so high maintenance, but I just really love not having my hands get wet and disgusting when I'm doing the dishes. It's just, it's just that simple. Um, so I used to have them like this. I have little binder clips and they go right on the hook, uh, another command hook here. This worked really well for, for now and I'm actually gonna leave these here. We have two different pairs because one pair is mine and one pair is my husband's. I haven't, uh, I haven't adjusted his pair to the new system yet but I'm gonna keep it here for a while just to talk about it. It works really well. I did get annoyed that these were at the end of the glove so that's why I switched over to the new system. This is a, it's just like a, man, a command hook also but it looks like a clothespin and it just holds up the gloves that way. That way I don't have to have anything on the end of my gloves. These are the water stop gloves from Casabella. <laughs> and, uh, but they work really well. They stop water from going up into your, like, I don't know, up your sleeve or something like that. They're really awesome. They last a really long time as well. So, moving right along to the right, I've got an alpha drawer unit. Shocker. <laughs> I'm in the middle of editing and I just would like to add that uh, having the store unit, which is a standalone unit, is really great for renters. And if you have a situation where you need to get to the back of the cabinet, you can just lift it out and take it out. And now, back to the video. <laughs> uh, this is the Alpha Forerunner Extra Narrow Drawer Unit. These are fully customizable. Um, this one's actually a cabinet size, which means it's only 17 inches deep as opposed to there's a standard size that's 21 inches deep. Uh, cabinet size is good because this is the inside of a cabinet. 21 would have fit, but it would have been a little tight and I kind of like having this space in the beginning. Um, oh, let me talk uh, briefly about um, the lining of the bottom here. All of my cabinets uh, are lined with a shelf liner called Plastomat and it's basically a plastic liner. It's smooth on one side and ribbed on the other. You can put the rib side down, you can put the plastic side down, I'm sorry, the, the smooth side down, it doesn't really matter. If you're worried about uh, moisture not drying under there, you should put the rib side down. I personally wasn't worried about that too much so I had the rib side up, <laughs> only because I like the texture. <laughs> But this is a really nice uh, liner. It just sits on the bottom of the cabinet, so if, if there's any issues with drips, uh, it won't uh, it won't damage the actual cabinet, and uh, it it's it's very easy to clean. So I definitely recommend Plastomat uh, as a cabinet liner. All right, back to the drawer unit. This is where I keep uh, all of my. Uh, well, uh, not all, but because you could use cleansers here, but a lot of my cleansers. So. By the way, ignore that it says beans and bread. This is actually an inside joke. It's it's way too long, but these labels are not changing. I don't need labels because I live here, but just know that I know that it says beans and bread. <laughs> anyway, in the first drawer, I've got my dishwasher tabs. I just empty the original packaging, packaging into here. These are little bins I actually got at the dollar store. They were super cheap, and this is... Um, an example of what dollar store bins are really great for is things like this. I don't think that they're, you know, the stuff at the dollar store is great for everything, but I do think it's awesome for sorting little things like this. Um, we've also got some Bottle Bright for cleaning bottles. This product was actually on Shark Tank, I believe, and got a pretty crappy <laughs> review uh, from the sharks, but I actually like this product. Anyway, so that's why you never know what can happen on Shark Tank. As long as you end up on Shark Tank, I think that's a good thing. We got a vegetable brush here. Um, and in the back, just our little like sink, sink stoppers there. And some bottle brushes here for water bottles. That's what's in the top drawer. And in the bottom drawer is where I keep the rest of my cleaners. These are the ones I don't use all the time. The ones that I use all the time are out where I can just grab at them um, because 
I find that that's an easier system. This, this pulling out and grabbing, this is a little more time consuming. So these are the ones I only use every once in a while. So I've got some floor cleaner. This is the Method Squirt and Mop. Love this. It smells like almond. It smells so good. Uh, this is a window cleaner. Uh, truth be told, this is all right. I, this is from the Honest Company. I mean, it's really just vinegar and some other stuff. So you could probably could just use that. We've got some uh, Simple Green. This is actually a holdover from my husband. Uh, this is Stain and Odor Remover from Fields Organics. I'm trying to use this up because I don't think I'm going to repurchase that. Uh, we've got some tile and stone floor cleaner. We've got some Murchison Hume uh, Everyday Furniture and Upholstery Cleaner. That works pretty well. Uh, this is the bathroom cleaner method. Again, I love method cleaners. I've um, got some antibac toilet cleaner back there and one of my favorite things in the world, freaking goo gone, man. <laughs> this is awesome for taking off stickers or anything that's like super sticky and just won't come off. Like the, the parking sticker in your car or whatever. Um, that's on the inside of your windshield. This stuff is gonna like pummel it. So goo gone, the best thing ever. They they do sell smaller containers. You don't have to buy this big giant one, but I mean, I mean, I love this stuff. It smells a lot like, it smells actually like orange peel because it's made from oranges. So if you don't like that, then maybe not grab it, but it's so good. Okay, there's a command hook here because there was something hanging here earlier, but it's not there anymore. So I think I'm gonna remove this guy because he's actually in the way of my step ladder. So here's a little step ladder. I'm gonna pull him out, he lives there. And uh, I need him because our cabinets are enormous. <laughs> like, I don't know how high that is, the top, the top shelf, but I can only reach the first, I'll show you the inside of my pantry. I think that I can really only reach the first few shelves. Yeah, and this is like reaching up here to grab this nuts container or whatever. Um, I'm super short, so I need a step ladder that is very easy to access. So this little cute, adorable step ladder fits right in this little space, right th like that. Is that not the best? So good. Um, this little guy, I think he's cheap. I think it's from the company Kirkland. I'm not sure, but I will leave a link down below so you can get one of your one of your own. I think they sell these at like. Marshalls and stuff like that, 2J Maxx. Um, you don't have to buy like this exact brand. Um, I think those ones, those ones, I hate when people say that. I think the ones that they, they sell there are might be a little bit larger. This one is very petite, um, but I will do my best to link it down below. All right, next to that is actually, this is a fat trapper. Uh, so if you guys are cooking with any kind of fat that is a solid at room temperature, you want to avoid putting it down the drain because it will cause uh, some plumbing problems uh, and things like that. So, this is a fat trapper. We put, oh, this is disgusting, we put all of our fat, like bacon fat and things like that, inside and the bag, you can actually just throw the bag away. It's, um, oh, that is in another language other than English. There we go. There's the fat trapper bag and uh, you can dispose of it in the garbage and that way you can keep your plumbing nice and healthy and it lives under the sink and it's very cute you would never know that there was like crazy bacon fat in there uh, okay next is a little container that is actually i'm sorry they i bought this at at container store when I worked there and they discontinued these. I don't know why. They There was like two sizes of these. There was a little one, this, this one, and a bigger one and I loved these. These are amazing. They had little holes on the side. Look at them. So cute. Um, but they are discontinued but I will link a similar product down below if I can find one for you. So this is basically like my everyday like loving cleaners bin. So I've got a disinfectant down here, and this is really just alcohol and water and essential oil. So that's really all you need. You don't need to buy crazy crap with chlorine bleach in it. You don't need to buy, you know, insane chemicals. You just need alcohol, water, and essential oil, and that will take care of any nasty bacteria on your counter and all kinds of other devices as well. I actually use this to clean, um, disinfect my phone, um, other things that just got disgusting germs on them. I'm a little bit of a germaphobe, so I mean, 
<laughs> there's your warning there. But however, I do like this disinfectant um, better than using chlorine bleach. Um, and I do use, this is just a regular everyday cleaner made from uh, Mrs. Meyer's concentrate and water. Uh, you can also make your own DIY cleaner from uh, dish soap and water and essential oils. It's really easy. You don't need to go out and buy expensive cleaners. Uh, you just need a really nice uh, spray bottle, which this one is okay. Actually, I'm going to throw a little bit of shade. This is actually from Casabella. Not my favorite bottle. Uh, the trigger uh, doesn't seem to last as long as I'd like it. So there's that. <laughs> this is a uh, brush, a cleaning brush that I use to clean the bottom of the uh, shower. This is from OXO. It's awesome. This is uh, hydrogen peroxide. What does it say? Oh, no. oh H2O2. Yes, <laughs> that's hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide is actually very sensitive to light. So this is why it's in this aluminum bottle. Um, it's hydrogen peroxide with some water in it. This is a good alternative to something with bleach in it. It does kill germs and it actually whitens really well. So if you have a stain on something that's white, uh, like if I have a stain on like a white, um, like my bar stools have this white uh, covering on them. If I really have a trouble with a stain, I can grab some of this and it helps get the stain out a lot. Okay, <laughs> just pause there with my thoughts. Okay. Bitter apple. We, we got this when we got clover and we have never had to use it. So he he is really good boy. He doesn't like chew stuff. He doesn't He's not supposed to so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this I actually might give this oops give this to a friend if you don't know what this is This is a really bitter tasting substance that you can spray on things that your pets are chewing um, and it supposedly is a deterrent, uh, but we've never had to use these so, and this is Fresh Wave. So this is a natural uh, odor remover, uh, odor neutralizing spray, sorry. Uh, so if something is smelling really disgusting, we'll take this and spray it on it. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like Febreze, but different. <laughs> it smells kind of like pine. Um, it smells really good actually, but after a few seconds, the smell disappears and it neutralizes the odor, which is really nice. So. There you go, and there's Bon Ami. This is what I like to use to clean the sink. This stuff is really awesome. It's got no bleach, no scents. It's hyperallergenic, it's really awesome. Um, it's a powdery kind of cleaner, and it works really, really well. Um, I do need to buy some more, because I think this one's empty. Uh, I think I got one more use out of it, but I really like this one. And back in the back, I have got some cleaning brushes. This is a sort of a cleaning toothbrush, and so is this one. <laughs> and this one is for cleaning grout. Uh, detail cleaning brushes are something that uh, a lot of people don't use, and this is like for cleaning like the little spots, um, like between things where there's. Uh, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. <laughs> Well, you know, the little seams of areas that get really dirty, this is really great for that. Uh, detail cleaners, I think, are something that people overlook. I think that it's really satisfying to get stuff nice and clean. Uh, anyway, so the reason I have this stuff in a bin is so that if I need to get back here to the garbage disposal, I can just lift this up and get back here and not have to worry about you know, moving each individual little product. So keeping stuff in a bin is really helpful. I've actually uh, also had good success with using a, a Lazy Susan underneath the sink. That works really well. All right, lastly, let's talk about uh, this bin. This is where I keep extra trash bags. This is the recycle bag and I've got bathroom bags and this is where I basically have extra backup stuff. I'm gonna take this bin out. I got extra backup stuff, so I got extra dish soap. I really should just be using this instead of that fancy bottle, but hey, I'm extra. We've got backup hand soap, and these are the re refills to the Blue Apple. I've talked about this in another video. This is a ethylene uh, absorber. Um, please go watch that video if you haven't watched it yet. <laughs> and this is the extra bag for the fat dropper, uh, and some extra sponges in the back here. This is another one of those cool microfiber sponges. Again, from Casabella, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> back there, I have some gloves. 
some more cleaning gloves just hanging out back there. Those are actually the ones I use to clean the bathroom. That's why they're sequestered back there. I will disinfect them before I put them back there. I'm just a little bit paranoid. <laughs> and oh, we've got hair hanging on the side here. This is actually a drain cleaner. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond for five bucks or something. This thing is awesome for cleaning out drains. It, it's awesome. It is a little gross when you stick it in there because it kind of just acts like a giant pipe cleaner, um, but it's worth every penny I paid for it. It's, I mean, Drano got nothing on this. So, and lastly, here is my little drawer for all of my microfiber cloths where I fold them just like I fold everything else in my house where I can see every little cloth. So I've got all the fun different colors here. This is a dust cloth and I've got some extra little sponges in the back and a little magic eraser. Magic eraser, look at how disgusting it is. It's like red. I use it to clean my little um, red entry thing so some of the dye came off. Magic eraser is so amazing. I don't know how it works, but it works really well for cleaning up all kinds of things, especially baseboards. I am obsessed with magic eraser. The only thing I don't like is they don't last very long. Like you can be scrubbing and then it's just, it disintegrates in your hand and it's so upsetting. <laughs> anyway, this little drawer is the tint stacking drawer from Container Store. I will link this down below. I do believe this is relatively affordable. I feel like it's like $8 or something like this. They're stackable, so if I wanted to, I could have more. Um, but I just happened to have one, so I just was like, hey, I'm just gonna put this one in here. Uh, because I did organize this cabinet with stuff that I just had. I didn't really buy anything new for this when I moved in. So that is the entirety of the cabinet. And as you can see, it's going to be very easy to remove things if I do need to, if I do have a plumbing issue or need to get back there and uh, take things out of there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my kitchen sink cabinet. And I hope that gave you some inspiration about how to organize your under sink cabinet. Uh, Let's talk down below in the comments about what your favorite cleaner is under your sink. What is your favorite? Do you guys love like Windex? Do you guys love Mrs. Myers? Do you guys love Method? What do you guys love that to clean underneath your, that's hiding underneath your sink? What do you guys love? Anyway, I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll put that button right there. It looks just like that. All you need to do is press it and you'll become part of the Hobneat Home family. I produce videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And make sure to press the bell to get notifications. That way you won't miss a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye. You guys miss Clover, right? You haven't seen Clover in a while. He's working on a bully stick. He's really going for it. He's working hard. How is that? How is that tasting, buddy? Thumbs up if you know what bully stick is made of. <laughs>